Hey guys, so I'm about to head off to the Project Runway viewing party. If you guys didn't know, if you don't watch my vlog channel, I am going to be on this week's episode of Project Runway All Stars. I'm super, super excited. But when I was getting ready, I thought it would be really nice to share my get ready experience with you guys. So this is obviously the final look. And if you want to see what makeup I'm wearing and what clothes I'm wearing as well, then keep watching. So I've just washed my hair, so I'm gonna start by using a couple of different products in it. On wet hair, I like to just pop a little bit of Moroccan oil or leave-in conditioner. I brought this with me because it's travel size, obviously I'm traveling at the moment, um, but normally I'd use any of my favorite leave-in conditioners. Then I'm just gonna brush through my hair using a paddle brush, just so that I don't have any knots in there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of mousse. This is a Paul Mitchell one, which I got when I was out here. I haven't had the chance to really try out properly yet, so I'm not really sure what I think of it, um, but it's okay so far. Um, I'm using that just to add a little bit of body and volume to my hair because I don't have any styling tools with me, apart from this rubbishy hotel hair dryer, which seriously took me about an hour to blow dry my hair. Then I'm gonna just go in with my straighteners. I lied, I do have a styling tool, I don't have a curler is what I meant. I I just like to straighten the curly little baby hairs I get at the front of my hair and then also I tend to get a little bit of kind of kinks or slight wave underneath my hair then I'm using a little bit of my Alterna CC cream just to neaten everything up and get rid of any flyaways then moving on to makeup they're my new makeup brushes and I absolutely love them I think they're gorgeous anyway moving on to makeup I'm going to start with primer this is benefits the pore professional I'm just going to apply this to any areas where I tend to get large pores or where makeup tends to come off throughout the day or night as it is now I'm going to then apply a little bit of my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua my favorite foundation using a regular foundation brush then for concealer I'm going to be using my Vichy Derma Blend concealer stick which is really really high coverage I'm just going to apply this to any areas where I have redness or where I need some extra coverage. I tend to get really red bits at the bottom of my cheek there. It's kind of strange. Anyway, so once you've applied this, you look really bizarre. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and blend all of this into my skin. And it should leave a pretty flawless finish. For under my eyes, though, I'm going to be using my LS Fast Concealer just because it's a little bit more brightening. So I apply a little bit of that and then just blend it using my ring finger and gently kind of tap it into the skin. For contouring, I'm using my Illamasqua Contouring Duo. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of the contour shade into the hollow of my cheekbones using this really nifty little brush actually it's part of my Sephora kit I really really like it anyway once I've done that I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter as well using the same brush and then for blush I'm using my MAC and Rihanna Hibiscus Kiss and I'm going to mix the two colours together so a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of the blusher together just so it's not too pink because we're going to go for a red lip and then for eyebrows I'm using my Anastasia brow kit so this is the powder duo in I think it's ash blonde slash taupe I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows give them a little bit more shape I don't like anything too dramatic when it comes to brows but I just like them to look neat and a little bit groomed I'm then going to set them using my Anastasia uh, brow gel which is great as you can see just brush through them and they stay in place then for eyeshadow I'm using this Smashbox kit which I actually just bought when I was out in the States and it was part of a set which came with a mascara and eyeliner which I'm going to use as well. So I'm taking the lightest colour first and using that as a base all over my eyelid and up to the brow bone. Then I'm taking this rose gold colour and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on to the lid really loosely. Just It's a very very pale colour so it's not really going to show up too much. Then I'm going to go in using this golden brown and I'm going to use my finger purely because I didn't bring that many makeup brushes with me. Um, so I just find it easier if I don't have so many clean brushes just to apply a little bit of that with my finger and then to blend it in um, using my brush there and then I'm going to take a little bit of the darker brown colour and using my blending crease brush I'm going to blend that in to my crease as you can see. So a bit of a kind of brown smoky eye. Once I'm happy with that I'm going to go in with eyeliner. This is black eyeliner. I'm going to line my waterline and I'm also going to line my upper waterline as well. Can be really ticklish if you've got tickly eyes. And then I'm also going to use the same eyeliner but I'm going to get a little bit of it onto my angled brush and just kind of smudge a little bit onto the upper lash line. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and for mascara I'm using a Smashbox one as well that came in the set that I was talking about. This is actually really good. Um, this is the first time I've ever used it whilst filming this video and 
now I have used it for, for the first time. I actually do really like it. And because my makeup is fairly neutral, I'm going to go for a red lip. This is Rimmel's Apocalypse, or Show Offs, I think they're called in the States, in Big Bang. And it is one of my most favourite red lip colours. So I'm just going to apply a nice coat of that. Once it's dry, they stay on for ages. And that is the finished makeup look. For my nails, I'm using a colour called Love Chemistry from a Sephora brand, which is X. It's the first one I've ever had, and it's amazing. Moving on to clothing, as you can see, I have a couple of jewels there, which I'll come back to later. Most of my outfit is black. I've kept it fairly monochrome. The shirt has a little bit of kind of creamy nude going on, but I am loving all of the items that I'm wearing in this video, and here's a little sneak peek of my jacket as well, which you will see more of in a minute. So, my jacket is actually from Marge, as is my skirt. I found them for an amazing, amazing price out here in New York. The shirt I actually showed in my recent haul video is from a startup brand called Hodge Factory. And then my boots are some suede ankle boots from Rag & Bone, which again were a naughty purchase whilst I was out in the States. I'm also wearing two pieces of jewellery from the same boutique brand called Lily Clasp, this ring and this necklace. They're handmade and I absolutely love them. Here's a close-up of my boots as well. Again, I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and super comfortable too because they have a heel but they're not too high and then because it is super cold in New York right now I've also thrown on this jacket and that's the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully I'm trying really hard to get this video up just before the show airs on Thursday the 19th of December at 9 p.m. Eastern Time 8 p.m. Central Time in the US if it's not in time, you should be able to actually view it online if you're based in the States. If you're in the UK, I'm finding out for you guys. So if you follow me on Twitter, I will let you know when you can watch it. I'm so, so excited. And just a massive thank you to all of you guys, because without you, this kind of thing just wouldn't happen. And yeah, lots of love. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So today's video is going to be a quick hair tutorial showing you how to get this romantic, messy, twisted fishtail braid. Now, I absolutely love wearing...